वेलकम यूवर्स टू सॉफ्ट अकेडमी और सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग अकेडमी टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डेट्स इन यूजर प्रेफरेंसेस सेटिंग्स इन प्राइमावीरा पी सिक्स सो इफ यू टिल नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट हेयर आई विल ओपन माई प्राइमावीरा पी सिक्स एंड वी विल गो हेयर डायरेक्टली इन टू एडिट एंड यूजर प्रेफरेंसेज सो आई एम जस्ट डिस्कसिंग अबाउट यूजर प्रेफरेंसेज डिफरेंट सेटिंग्स सो दीज ऑल सेटिंग्स are in primavera p6 and set by user by its own preferences what he prefer or what she prefer to do in your is schedule or her schedule so here there is first time and units that one i already explained and the second one is dates so there are three type of tables here one is date one is option date format then option then time so first of all i will see here there also you can see a sample here i will also show you from here also your uh, table also i will show you primavera what impact on primavera is so first of all the dates month day year so the first of all this format is day month year so when we change here you can see july 26 and 21 first of all month day and year so you can also apply when you use uh, this one format you can work in a place where this type of date format is compatible you can apply this one and close you can see it impacts here july 23 21 and here we will go again and use the preferences also year the first one is year you can see here year month and day year first of all you can see here here we go here use preferences year month and the day you can apply this one why it's not applying here so here year month year month and the day 21 year and july and 23 so we can also do that one in easily if we put four digits and we can see here 2021 july 23 here so here we have also learned in the option we can apply 2021 into four digits also from here by selecting this one so also month name there is a month name july appear here we can also change that one month into seven when we see here it's 777788 so 7 july 8 august so you can change the month name into a digit so the leading zero for example there is a leading zero 05 0803 so the leading zero will be fin will be removed if i uncheck this one so you can see here no leading zero in this one in no date it will be appear here we will go here in the user preferences again we will click this one so these are separators for example 26 dash july dash 21 so you can also change that one to dot sometimes your date is into dot and sometimes your date is into slash so here you can see that the date is in dot sometimes your settings in your excel is in dots so you can use that settings by exporting or importing your primavera p6 in from excel to primavera p6 so you can also use slash for that one you can see here the slash is used here also user preferences you can see also sample so i will use the dash which one is default here you can see here the dash is which is default i will use that one so these are the two i have told you about date format the three format date month day and year and the second one day month year then the third one year month day and the, i have also explained you about four digit year from here and month name i have also explained you about here how to check and uncheck leading zero i have explained you here separator i have also explained separators so the next turn is time so when you are scheduling a project so there is a date written and if you put 12 hours so it will be applied like am and pm with a and pm only 12 hours will be shown here in your schedule so you can see here 8 o'clock 8 o'clock so you can see in all your schedule the dates start date and finish date is also written in hours 
from start time and finish time. So when you go in a schedule also, so you can see here also when you go ahead and schedule and apply the schedule here and you can also put here the hours from 12 a.m. or 12 p.m. If you put that one schedule, for example, I put here 1, 1 a.m. and no 1 a.m. If I put here 9 a.m. in the morning, select that one and schedule you can see here eight it start and eight four minutes finish it will be changed here nine o'clock it starts and finish on nine o'clock when you change the time in your schedule here so this one also impact when you are assigning your calendar to your project so you use that one it's very important while you're scheduling a project having hours are in a project shutdown project which is in 28 days or which is in 15 days it this time is very important to put out right there so if we put four 12 hour format so you can see am and pm here will be appear here like this one pm three o'clock you can see here pm it's in am so you can see here when you're applying calendar there so also you use times here to schedule your project in exact time start and finish time so if you use 24 hours so you can see here am and pm will be removed and your 24 hour format will be applied here so you can see this time is very important while you are scheduling a project which have a less time and which have a minimum time so you need one hour your one hour is also necessary so it's also costly so when you will use that settings while you are using a schedule which have a very minimum duration so start time or when you're using a calendar or when you're using two three four three shifts calendar so that that dates are impacted right there so use this time settings for 12 o'clock is the best one so you use that one so you can see here easily eight o'clock start and your the next eight hour finish and the next start eight hours and the next eight hours finish while you are using three shifts so use 12 12 hours is recommended by me and 24 hours it's also use it's also usable but it's confusing so that's why I don't use 12 or 24 hours so i am not using here any hour time so that's why i will click here do not show any hour so also you can show here a minutes when well, you you can see here minutes and you can also remove the minutes from here when you are using 12 hour or 24 hour format you can also show or remove that minutes so that one is our today's content about dates i have explained you briefly about the dates in primavera p6 user preferences so you can use that dates settings while you are scheduling a project so my friends and my viewers user preferences settings are dependable according to users how the user put his settings or her setting to schedule his project so use recommended setting as per your industry and as per your use so thanks for watching soft demi if you till not subscribe my channel please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon like comment and share and share it to your friends and Keep watching Softy Demi. Thanks. We will meet in our next video.